Hello everybody, my name is Leo Pantel, I'm the Executive Chef at the Connections Art Center. And part of our 50th anniversary series, we're highlighting some special events and dinners that we've done in the past. And this one was a special one. We were fortunate enough to host the Royal Visit that was here in 2005. And uh, we got to cook for about 500 people for a special luncheon. And uh, what does the Queen eat? You might think frog raw and caviar all the time, but really it was something special for us and near, and near to our hearts, as it was of course local cuisine. So we did serve up some local produce and the protein feature that uh, day was late beef and baker still had trouble. So I'm gonna show you how we cooked that here and uh, recipes will be available online on our website and uh, www.connectsystartcenter.ca. So of course, we serve and always work with some fresh proteins and today we're using the steelhead trout. Again, produced locally here in Saskatchewan and it's a great product. We've uh, used it for a lot of different events and uh, just ask your fish purveyor. It's actually available at uh, a lot of local markets uh, and some of the stores as well so you can uh, try it out. Uh, I suggest you buy it with the skin and I can show you how what we do to uh, uh, prepare it for service. And, uh, it's important, first of all, to uh, pat it dry. We've already done that, so it's nice and dry. And we're going to, uh, you got a couple of portions, of the comfortable portions we get out of this. So we're going to um, trim it slightly. I've trimmed some of the belly fat, and uh, I'm going to, just so it's all uniform, some of the thin pieces here, we'll use some of the trimmings for another dish, and we'll take the skin off of here. So you get a really nice, clean cut skin. And uh, we'll save that for uh, some other things in our kitchen, as well as the two portions on the serve here. So with this, again, it's uh, nice, even sized portions. And all we're gonna do with that is take a little bit of salt and pepper, just lightly dust them. And we're going to get that ready in a hot pan. I preheat the pan slightly and we want to use some oil now we're going to use quite a bit of oil uh, the oil is really what does the heat transfer and that'll get a nice sear on the fish we want to be able to sear it on the uh, non-skin side first and that'll get us a very nice uh, crust on it and it won't take very long once we get the sear the pan is already uh, preheated slightly and it gets a nice uh, temperature on it. Really important that you, when you put it in the pan, make sure the dish is away from, the, uh, the fish is dropped away from you. And we get a nice hot sear there. You don't want the oil to splatter on you. So that will just take a few minutes on both sides. And we don't want to um, agitate it too much. And it won't stick in a pan with this much oil. Uh, when it gets to be uh, nearly done, we're also going to let it rest. And to do that, again, we're going to uh, whip it over, again, away from you, so we get a nice, crisp side on that fish. And at this time, you might want to add either some herbs, or you can add a little butter to it which we'll do as well, and that'll really help uh, basting it. Just baste it with a little bit of butter as well, and it'll really give a nice flavor. So you can do one of two things. You can either finish it in the oven, which is what we're going to do for this tasting, uh, but also let it rest. And we're going to let it rest for a few minutes while we're working on the, on the other dishes. Uh, once it comes out of the oven. Okay, the other dish we're going to work on over here. Is our accompaniments. So, one of the accompaniments is a... Um, Potatoes, celery root, and parsnip mash. So one good thing about this is got some unique flavor. 
celery root, again, it's the root uh, of a celery. It's got a, a unique flavor, really goes well with the potatoes. We're using a baker's potato today, and then trimmed and peeled mashed potatoes. Now, for the purpose of this today, we've already steamed it and set it aside, so it's uh, ready for us to go. The other secondary dish to this is uh, apple and leek. So what we've done with that is we've got uh, some peeled Grand Smith apples, they stay nice and firm. And all we're gonna do with that is just slice it and uh, make juliennes out of it. And that'll give us uh, a nice sweetness again that accompanies, accompanies this uh, steelhead trout with a little bit of apple cider. And it just, it doesn't take much once it's peeled and cored. And we'll set that aside. The other accompaniment to this dish is leeks. Now the one thing about leeks is uh, they never are clean. You can't wash them before, so uh, you'll need to wash them after you cut them. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, just slice it down the middle and then cut on a bias so it's ready for a pan. And as you can see, some of these leeks, they again, have a unique flavor, but there is dirt in there, so you can't really um, wash it before. You do have to wash it after, so use a strainer, take it to your sink, and just a little slightly wash for this fish. We want to blanch our leeks. Doesn't take long at all. And then we'll get our pan ready for our apple. I've got uh, vegetable stock here. You can use, uh, chicken stock gives a nice flavor. Um, as well as uh, a little bit of butter. And we want to uh, blanch and soak our butter as well. So we're going to saute our apples with our stock. And then to have a little bit of crunchiness with it, we're going to reserve some of the apples once they get a little bit of softness to them. And while they're just cooking away there, we will strain our leeks. You can see how they maintain their color. All they've done to this is add a little bit of uh, salt to the water. And we're going to reserve some of the leeks. Uh, the apples, the apples are going to maintain their crunchiness. I'm just going to pull some out so it stays nice and crunchy before we add the leeks. And add our leeks. And add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll, what we want to do at this point is uh, let it reduce a little bit. We're also going to add a little bit of uh, white wine to this. And again, that'll give it some flavor and a little bit of heavy cream. So we'll let that reduce for a moment. And again, the uh, thickness of the leeks and the apples will give it a nice consistency and we'll let that it's almost done there and we'll also get ready for our so what we've done with that is uh, we've already cooked our potato and uh, leeks or sorry potato and uh, celery root and some parsnips and we almost go a 50 50 potato and a liquid measure it gives it a really nice creamy consistency and a little bit of salt and pepper is out too really gives it a nice flavor we'll also take our fish 
nice crispy and it's rested out of the oven and a little bit of uh, color to it. We've also got a few baby local vegetables. Give it some nice color. Apple and leeks. Again, it gives it a nice color. And really accompanies this dish well. And then we just garnish with a few chives I've got for my garden today. So a little recipe to try at home. And if it's something that uh, if you're able to do, go right ahead. We've got the recipe up on our website. And if you are interested, we are actually doing meal kits. We're making this available to the public on Friday night between 5 and 6.30. You can go to our website and pre-order. Uh, we're taking pre-orders to uh, noon on Thursday. And then they're available for right drive through uh, our front doors. And we have uh, available for pickup between 5 and 6.30 at the Connect Start Center. Hope you enjoyed it and feel free to come try it with our meal kits on Friday night. Thank you very much.